people, I'm here today showing you how to spice up your traditional holiday eggnog with a little pumpkin. We have some milk, some cream, sugar, a touch of salt, rum, we have some ground ginger, ground cinnamon, vanilla extract, we have ground cloves, fresh nutmeg, and then we have pumpkin, of course, because we're making pumpkin eggnog. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by adding our wet ingredients to a heavy saucepan. Dump those all in. There's your cream. We're gonna add our sugar and a pinch of salt, about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. So we'll just give this a little bit of a stir and go straight over to the stove to bring it to a simmer. You wanna continuously stir this so that you make sure that you're not scorching the bottom of the pan and burning your milk and cream. Now that this is warm, we're just gonna pull it off of the stove to temper our eggs. What we're doing by tempering the eggs is sort of getting them ready to cook. We're partially cooking them, but we're not completely cooking them, which is why we didn't want this to get super, super hot. We're gonna ladle a little bit of this hot mixture in at once, and we're gonna whisk it immediately. And we'll do that again until about half of this milk and cream mixture is in our eggs. That looks about right. We want sort of a pale yellow color. And then what we're gonna do is pour that directly back into our pot. We're gonna go straight back to the stove and bring this up to 160 degrees, which should just take about a second. We're gonna put this on low heat and whisk it consistently. The best way of knowing when your eggs are cooked, use a thermometer. When it comes up to 160 degrees, you know your eggs are cooked and safe to eat. When it's last stir, we'll turn the stove off and we'll bring it back over. And what we're gonna do at this point is just whisk in the rest of our ingredients. So we'll start with the vanilla ground cinnamon, ginger, ground cloves, and what I'm doing with my nutmeg here, we're gonna use a microplane, which is a really great tool to shave small quantities of ingredients into a larger bowl. About a quarter of a teaspoon, and the last ingredient is pumpkin. We have canned pumpkin, which is absolutely fine to use. So now all of our ingredients are incorporated except for your rum, which we have right here. I'm just gonna dump that right in. All that's left to do is strain it and chill it because nobody really wants to drink warm eggnog. So we're gonna take a fine mesh strainer and just pour that directly in there. Once we've done that, we're gonna throw this straight into the fridge. So we have this nice, beautiful, creamy batch of already chilled eggnog. What we're gonna do is pour that directly over some ice cubes into a chilled glass. Fill that up to the top. We have our cinnamon sticks that we're just gonna garnish this with. And if you're feeling fancy, go back to that nutmeg and grate a little fresh nutmeg over the top. Cheers to liquid pumpkin pie in a glass.